Chapter 7. Work, life, balance. Yeah, right. Work, life, balance. Yeah, right. More like light switch on and never turns off. I've heard a lot of executives say that they need a vacation, a three-day getaway, and or a recharge phase. I see the value in this. So the mind can relax, recharge, and reflect on the thought process. I remember taking my first vacation, per se, when I was 30. I never thought that a vacation was needed. I didn't care for it. However, when I went to Indonesia, I saw the value of the vacation. It allowed me to recharge my battery and see the way of life in a different country. This also put many thoughts in perspective as I walked around many shops in Kuta, Bali, to see how business owners literally made business out of nothing. I mean, these shops were made out of wet mud, string together with plastic bags. I thought to myself, wow, holy shit. If these people can do this, what can I do? What do I have the privilege and honor of doing as an American? It lit a fire underneath my ass. I went home fully charged and ready to hit the ground running. Sleep was an unnecessary luxury because my mind was racing so much with thoughts of business plans, games plans, and who I can connect with. The military is structured in a way which makes work-life balance difficult because you're on 100% of the time. I found myself in turmoil and unbalanced because of this concept. This was good and bad. The people that I've met provided me with constructive feedback, which led me to better self-care. This allowed me to come out guns blazing and project results driven for success. However, what I failed to realize was that this is a marathon and my tenacity and efforts and masses amounts of action would only be efficient for a short span of time. I have to give it to my civilian counterparts. They know how to play the marathon game pretty well. I remember one specific CEO and also my mentor who was a lieutenant colonel in the Navy, retired. Every day at 11.30 till 12.30, he would take his little lunch sack and drive to a park and sit there and take his time to reprieve. He taught me that stepping away and doing decision-making in solitude allowed him to have a balance within the day. This momentary solitude of balance allowed him to be a better decision-maker and a better leader, an executive, and a better judgment of the bigger picture. Take the time to notice within yourself what keeps you balanced. When I feel off balance, I head to the gym and refocus my energy and develop a solution. During my gym evolution, I would intentionally think about business and overall how I can excel my goals. What I learned in this process, I try to synchronize and automate as much as I can. This will help you in the long run. It will give you the mental and or marathon runner mentality. All you have to do is provide some oil and care to the component of your system. Interviews. Interview with Brett and Ben, owners of American Grain. Ben, I like to take time and lay in the pool with my dog and let all the thought process flow with a nice cold beer. Brett, I'm more of an outdoors man. I like to go out there in the middle of the woods, maybe hunt and enjoy the outdoors. The solitude allows me to process all my thoughts and come back refreshed. Interview with Daniel, owner of Grunt Style. Integrating and blending work life is now common. Work is always going to be there and I address everything I can with everything I got while my life is there. Marrying these at the same time provides an optimal result. Interview with Tyler, one of the owners of 18 Series Nutrition. Set your priorities. If you're dealing with an additional stress, find ways to get it out. I've learned early on the best way for me to get rid of the stress is in the gym. I hit the weights hard, no music, just you and the problem to work through. Sweat it out and get back to work. Allow yourself to recover if needed and taking a step back for the day. Interview with Mike, owner of Grunt Style. Yes, I have a work-life balance. I have a small gym on my property with all the basic stuff, nothing fancy. I aim for some sort of physical activity six days out of the week. Exercise does a lot for me mentally. Being physically fit is a good side effect and keeps me healthy, which no money can buy. I still get out there and do hiking. I need to keep the fit tough because I also contract part-time with Go Rock, a special forces base course. The great thing is that I get to take my kids to school, go to their sports events, and do stuff on the birthdays. 
when I take the time out of the work day to do dad stuff, I make up for it later. It might be some extra hours in the shop later that evening or waking up early the next day to keep the stuff on schedule. Tactical exercise. Do you want to take a vacation or do you need to take a vacation? How are you manifesting your day? Are you thankful for the opportunities that you received? Look at your current situation. Are you burning yourself out or on your, the road to burning yourself out? What marathon attributes can you implement here? Are you using your lunchtime efficiently? Or are you taking the moments of solitude for clarity for the greater purpose? Tactical recommendation. Recommendation from Daniel, owner of Grunt Style. Learn to bring both your worlds, work and life together. Figure out a way to have them balance out and cohabitate. Recommendation from Tyler, one of the owners of 18 Series Nutrition. Know yourself and take personal inventory to see where you are mentally. Address your issues early on and keep yourself from becoming a burnout.